guys, it's Becky. Welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be taking the next couple days to do a little bit of fall preparation and I thought it'd be fun to share with you guys in this video, kind of smush it all together. So it's gonna be filmed in a couple parts. This part I'm doing first, which is a fall clothing haul, mostly clothing. There's a couple of housewares and a book and things like that, but I'm doing the fall haul part of it first because the second part of the video is going to be preparing my closet for the new fall clothes that I bought, switching over from summer to fall. Uh, and just kind of sprucing things up a little bit because with Christmas coming and I've already been Christmas shopping for a while, I have to keep all of the presents in my closet and I need to make sure that it's as clean as it can be and like clear and clutter free as it can be so that when those presents come, I have some place to put them if that makes sense. So I'm starting off with the clothing, hand soap, a book, some other things, random things thrown in. And then tomorrow I plan on going in my closet, showing you guys a little bit of what it looks like kind of now where things are kind of just not really where they belong. Uh, and try to get it ready for the fall season with my clothing, but then also thinking ahead to Christmas. So I have quite a few clothing items. Some of them I have pictures of me wearing, some of them I don't, but I'm gonna hold everything up and show you. The first thing, and I actually wore this in our family photos that we had done last week. This came from, I think most things came from, uh, most things came from Amazon, but I'll tell you where they came from. And then if it did come from Amazon or somewhere that I can link, I will link it for you. But anyway, I wore this in our family pictures. It's got, um, a very light ribbing. I don't know if you can see it. And then these cute little sheer sleeves with the puffs on them. I'm a very casual person, so I just wore this with some dark skinny jeans. Our color scheme was mostly white and kind of a powder blue. And then my oldest daughter had on a black skirt and her boyfriend, he was in some of the pictures, he had on a black shirt. So try to kind of tie them in with the whites and blues. And this is really comfortable. I feel like it's really well made. And um, I'm really excited to wear this. I think it's perfect for church as well. So I got that from Amazon. Also, I'm gonna try to keep everything together. I got this scoop necked shirt, long sleeve shirt. Again, it's got uh, vertical ribbing on it. I don't know if you can see that on camera. It's got the little buttons here and then it also has buttons on the sleeve. It's very similar to this shirt. Um, this one's actually a lot softer. This one's not the softest. It's okay, but it's not as soft as this one. Uh, again with the ribbing and it's just pretty kind of a jewel toned teal. Uh, this one's more of a crew neck. So whereas the other one was a scoop neck, this is more of a crew neck, but it still has the buttons here and it still has the buttons on the wrist. I get made fun of so much for when I find a shirt that I like, I buy it in like as many colors as I can find. And I get made fun of so much, like lovingly made fun of for how my closet is pretty much all solids and a lot of the same shirts, just different colors. So that's kind of, I mean, one's a scoop neck, one's a crew neck, it's a little bit different, right? But anyway, they're still very similar. And then I also got this one again with the ribbing and this one's kind of an olive green with a little split right here. I thought that was really cute. And in the Amazon listing, it shows a very busty woman. And of course it's like way down, there's all kinds of cleavage. That does not, I mean, I'm, a, I'm an A bra. So I don't know, I guess if you were really, really busty, I guess you would spill out, but it's definitely modest on me. Then at Kroger of all places, if you have like a really like nice super Kroger, they usually have a clothing department. They had, I think they're really, really pretty. They look like they're really well made and they're very, very soft. And this color in particular, I love this color. This is like a really pretty, um, I don't even know what, it's a scoop neck. Again, with the vertical ribbing, long sleeves, just plain just basically this is me in a shirt just plain no fuss no muss i got a small and everything the extra small would have fit but i didn't want it to be too clingy so i got a small in all these shirts but i don't know what color you would call this like it is it's kind of a jewel toned color as well but it just looks really pretty it's very unique so i got that i also thought this one was really unique and i had had this color in mind before i even saw it and then when i saw it i was like that's exactly what i wanted so it's very like a dusty mauve and this one is a scoop neck Again, long sleeves. And then I also, I realized of all the plain clothing that I have, I did not have a long sleeve plain white shirt to wear either on its own or under other things. So I got the same shirt, long sleeve, vertical ribbing in the white crew neck. So I got that. And then also from Kroger, my youngest daughter really loves their jeggings. I got their, these are the, the dip brand as well, which I don't know if it's a brand other people sell, but it's the brand that they sell the most at Kroger. Uh, the dip brand mid-rise jegging i don't have any jeans in this light wash because i am a pear-shaped person i have a small upper half and then my lower half is you know quite a bit larger i mean it's proportionate i guess but it's mostly my hips and thighs are where i carry most of my weight and so i always feel like and i still think that the darker the wash is 
the more flattering it is but at the same time you know it gets kind of boring it looks like i never change pants because i wear jeans every day and when they all look the same people probably think i just never change clothes so anyway i went ahead and got this kind of lighter wash uh, it's not my favorite i think it still looks good i think i'll still be confident in it and it's nice to have another option and they're really affordable so i got those and these are jeggings and this is what i'm trying to say every single time i find a pair of jeans and i don't like stiff jeans Every time I find a pair of jeans that I like, they discontinue it. And now it is so hard to find mid-rise jeans. Everything is like super high rise or super low rise. Well, I've had two C-sections and a myomectomy. So low rise does not look good on me. And almost for the same reason, high rise doesn't look right on me because there's just a pooch there that will not go away. And it feels like to me, in my opinion, that the mid-rise hits me at the right spot. And if they're gonna discontinue mid-rise or like it's not trendy right now, people still need mid-rise. So I do appreciate the fact that all the pants I'm gonna show you today are mid-rise, but they are hard to find. I really struggled to find these. But I like these because they are jeggings, so they are skinny jeans, which I know are also on the way out. They are mid-rise, uh, they're comfortable, they're flexible. I don't feel like I'm being stifled in my jeans when I wear this type. So there's a lot of jeggings here. So I got that color. I also got gray, which I have not had colored jeans or pants. I can't even tell you the last time, maybe high school. And I've been out of high school 25 years. So, and even then I can't really think of what pants I would have had, but I'm trying to be more confident, branch out a little bit. That's all laugh at the fact that to me, gray pants is branching out, but to me it is branching out. Um, and I think it'd be nice to have in my wardrobe. So again, gray jeggings. And then sticking with the jeggings theme, I got two pairs of these. These are from Amazon. This is the Hue brand. It's my, the same brand of my socks. These are a dark wash jegging, mid-rise, super flexible, super stretchy. These pants I feel like look better in the bottom area than the other ones, but I don't like the color as well. This is the Amazon Essentials brand. Uh, it's just a little bit of a lighter blue. I don't know. There's just something about it that looks maybe a little bit less, I don't know, maybe a little bit more cheap. I don't really know how to explain it. But they are comfortable. I did get the long in these. I'm not a tall person. I'm only 5'7", but I really wanted them to be a little bit longer. And I find a lot of pants these days, if you don't get a long, they are too short. They hit you like right at the ankle or above and it looks like high waters and you're waiting for a flood to come and that's not what I wanted. And I'm not a tall person, so I don't really know why that's what's going on now with pants. I just have struggled to find pants. I You don't know how excited I am to even have this many pairs of pants because I was down to one pair of jeans my other ones had worn out, they'd been discontinued, and I didn't, I couldn't find any, so I'm thrilled to have even this many options. So try the Amazon Essentials brand if you're looking for a mid-rise jegging that's really comfortable, that's affordable. Um, and if you feel like if you're 5'7 or taller and you don't want them to be at your ankle or above, I would recommend getting the long. So I got those. And then I think also in the Amazon Essentials, yeah, I got the black. Again, I haven't had black. I have black dress pants, but I don't wear them. Um, and if I was going to wear them, they'd be something I'd wear to church, but I got these skinny jeans, skinny jeggings, because that way I can wear them more casually. Um, and definitely with winter coming, they'll fit in my boots and everything. So I got those. I did get one pair of jeans from Express and I have not decided if I'm going to keep them or not. There, it is a darker wash. It is mid rise. They do have little stripes here, but they're not as dark as some of them, but they are just, I mean, after I've gotten used to wearing like jeggings or softer jeans, they're really stiff. So I'm going to give it some time, see if they soften up a little bit. Um, so I do have those, but I'm not sure I'm going to keep them. And then also for pants, I got another pair of workout pants. These are the Yvette brand. This video is not sponsored. I did work with them before and got some, some leggings then. And those are my favorite leggings. So I actually bought these uh, with my own money. And they do sell Yvette on Amazon, but I can't find this particular pair on Amazon. I had to get it from their website. And my oldest daughter has some of their leggings too, and she loves them. So there's just something about these. And I tried a lot of J um, workout pants on Amazon. I bought a lot of the different like top brands that were supposed to be like Lulu Lululemon and dupes and things like that. They just did not fit and feel like these. So I really love these. Um, if I can find the link for this particular style, um, I'll link them for you. And I think I still have a 15% coupon code. So I'll put it in the description box if you're interested. Highly recommend their leggings. And then when I was at Marshall's, I actually picked up this jean jacket. Now I had a jean jacket when my husband and I were dating and I should have kept it. I, after I had my first daughter, I thought I would never be able to fit into it again. And I realize now that I would have been able to, 
but I ended up taking it to like Plato's Closet or somewhere. But I love that jacket because it was, it wasn't cropped, like super cropped, but it wasn't as long as a traditional uh, denim jacket. It wasn't boxy like a tradi traditional gen <laughs> traditional denim jacket. It was kind of tapered in the back and it was just really feminine and cute. So I like that. This is very similar. And this was only $20 at Marshall's. As you can see, it's not terribly long. It does have a little bit of distressing, which I could do without, but it doesn't bother me terribly. Uh, and for 20 bucks, I figured it was a good option to have. And now that I actually have some pants besides just denim, because I don't like the denim on denim look. I know people do it, I don't like it. But now that I have the gray pants and I have the black pants, I could definitely wear the, this, <laughs> this with those other colored of pants. So I got that. And $20 for a denim jacket I thought was really nice. And then this, I'm not wild about the color, but I used to have a cropped sweatshirt that I, or like sweatshirt hoodie thing like this that I would wear around the house. So it's got a zipper, it's got a hood. Um, I would wear it around the house and I liked it that it was cropped because it didn't feel cumbersome, especially if I was like, you know, running around cleaning or whatever. It was really nice in the mornings when I go downstairs and it's kind of cool and I would put it on and kind of wear it almost like somebody would a robe or, you know, something like, or a sweater. Um, and this was just really soft on the inside and it was $16.99. So I picked that up at Marshall's. This is going to be such a long video. I am so worried about this now. I realize I've already been talking over 16 minutes and I haven't even gotten to the closet part yet. But anyway, um, my oldest daughter always wanted a fire pit. My husband had mentioned a few times wanting to get a fire pit, but he's not the type of person that really wanted to be outside at night and i just thought you know it's just going to sit there and nobody's going to use it well time went on and we you know had gone to some events last year where there was a fire pit and my daughter my oldest especially really loved it and then now that she's got a boyfriend like they're really into being outside on the hammock and things like that and so i thought okay now's the time to go ahead and get a fire pit so i did get this one from amazon and I was really reluctant to get it because it had very little reviews and the ones that it did have were the ones where people got it for free. And I hate when that happens because I really want to hear from somebody who actually paid their own money for it. But I got a really good deal on it. It's over $100. I can't remember how much it is. When I got it, it was 50% off. And then I had Amazon rewards or something like that. So I ended up paying like 30 bucks for it. But I think without my rewards, it was going to be like 60 or something like that which i thought was a really good deal and i wanted in particular one that was stainless steel not painted which this one is not we've used it a few times already we've cooked over it and it's just been really fun and i'm super excited for when the weather actually gets cool enough to justify using it at night making s'mores making more hot dogs roasting hot dogs we plan on having family over and like kind of hanging out around it so it's already been really fun and worth the money that we spent on it just in the couple times we've used it so Maybe something to consider, maybe to add that to your fall, like family gift list, like something you're going to buy for your whole family. Maybe look into that. Maybe not this particular one, but you know, something like that where you can get outside, get away from the phones and just be together around the fire. It was really fun. So I have that. I also got, this is the most random thing ever, but I got more command strips. I tend to get uh, at least one package of command strips leading up to fall because I know with fall and Christmas decoration coming up I'm usually hanging signs that I don't want to like use nails for so this is my PSA to you now it's probably the time to pick up some command strips to hang up things that maybe you're going to be hanging up seasonally so I got those uh and then I also got some Bath and Body Works hand soaps normally throughout the year I use a more natural option but I just really enjoy fall and Christmas hand soaps and I got pumpkin apple which is a classic and I love that so I got that for the kitchen I actually got two of those because I love that one and then like I mentioned my oldest daughter's boyfriend is here a lot he's sp he spends the night a lot and he sleeps downstairs on the couch because we don't have a guest room um, and so the half bathroom the guest bathroom is where he is the most like using the restroom and stuff so I got some more manly soaps for him right now it's like I don't know iced gingerbread houses or something I got some more manly kind of scents that I thought maybe he would appreciate. I got flannel and I also got cozy vanilla almond, which is just kind of unisex. So I got those. And then I also got a book. Um, I early Earlier this year, I was really good about reading. I was really good about reading my Bible. I was really good about reading and listening to audiobooks. And then I just kind of, once summer came, I lost my routine. And so now that school started back, I'm trying really hard to get back into a routine. I'm trying really hard to prioritize reading the Bible, of course, but then also other books that are going to help me to be a better person and a better Christian, especially. So I got this one. This is the good hard showing up for God to work in you when you just want, when you want to shut down this book, the title of it. And I read the first few pages seemed like it would be something I would be, that would be useful to me. 
Um, so just briefly read the back. It says, the hard good leased by Lisa Whittle guides us on a powerful path to progress as we learn to accept things we wish were different, apologize and forgive first, cheer for someone who gets what we want, open our hearts again when we've been hurt, find joy in the waiting, and show up when we want to shut down. I do hope to read it at least, maybe finish it. I'm not one of those people that can finish a book really quickly, so I'm going to say before the end of the year. That seems probably ridiculous to some people, but I just am really busy and I don't necessarily always have time or want to read when I have some downtime, but we'll see. I did pick that up. And the last thing I want to share with you guys is something I have been on a journey to find a good option for for a very, very long time, and it's a good eye makeup remover that actually works. Now, I know coconut oil does work, but it makes my eyes really oily and it kind of lets me, I can't think what they're called, but like you get like the little dots that like build up. So I don't like to use coconut oil on a daily basis, but it does really work to take off eye makeup, especially waterproof makeup. But this is actually the e.l.f. Um, Holy Hydration Makeup Remover. This stuff is awesome. I feel like this definitely makes me not even need to use coconut oil. It's cheaper than what I was using. What I was using was like a little over $10 a bottle. And I'm just like, that's ridiculous. It's eye makeup remover from the drugstore. Now this is still seven, but it's at least a little bit cheaper and it's been working really well. So highly recommend you guys check that out if you are looking for a good eye makeup remover. So very long haul. I'm sorry. I've been hoarding this stuff for a few days, but I'm going to be glad to get it washed and hung up and out of the floor of my closet. So now that I can actually work on putting things where they belong, making a home for everything and getting ready for my fall clothes and also Christmas presents that are coming in, trickling in here and there over the course of, you know, they've been coming in for a while. Okay, it's the next day and I'm going to be working in my closet. But yesterday I talked so much during the haul that I'm going to try to make this part fairly quick. So I'm probably going to do a little bit of like just before and then after and just a tiny little bit of B-roll like me kind of sped up doing things because I don't want this video to be too long. But this is what it looks like right now. Those baskets won't be there. I just need to unload that. That's clean laundry that's folded. I'm starting to collect boxes to wrap some of the bigger gifts that I have. If you guys have seen my previous closet videos, I keep most gifts up here in these bins but come christmas time there's a lot of stuff that either those things are full or they don't fit in those bins so at that point i usually have to have like laundry baskets here with gifts in them and then kind of cover them up with a blanket it's not very aesthetic but it's how it, how i have to do it so i need to get this area cleaned out i'm going to switch my there's long like cozy things like warm things here but all of this stuff pretty much is summer and that is fall and winter. So I'm going to switch all this stuff. I need to refold right there, make that look nice. I need to reorganize my shoes because I am looking for a pair of boots that I can wear every day. I love my Ugg boots, but I don't want to wear them every day. And then as far as like just style, and I know they're supposed to be in and out of style. Some people say they're back in style. Some people say they're ugly and they never should have been in style. I personally love them, but I don't want to wear them every day. So I want to try to find some everyday boots that are no low or no heel comfortable enough to wear in place of my tennis shoes in the fall and winter so i want to kind of rearrange these get some of this junk out of there that's a heated blanket for the car and just get all this stuff organized and straightened up so that's what i'm going to work on right now so the first thing i'm going to do is put up this laundry and then you guys will see me i'll start switching over the things on the top with the things on the bottom and as i go through those things i'm going to look and see if there's anything I don't want, like that gray sweater, I have been eyeing that sleeve for like weeks thinking I'm probably not even going to keep that because I don't ever wear it and it gives my hair static. So just stuff like that as I'm going through and switching and refolding, what don't I want to keep, uh, what do I want to keep, and then put everything up nicely. Okay, so I am done for the day. Uh, as you guys saw, I switched um, fall and winter on the top shelf, summer on the bottom. I had to move my ring light because I hung my pants and my denim jacket that I showed yesterday in my haul. I don't know how I'm going to feel about fall or hanging my pants because I used to fold them, but I have so many now and I have the short, I don't know, just long story not short is... I hung my pants. I'm going to try it and see how I like that. I already know it's going to annoy me that I have to 
completely lower down my ring light to be able to fit under the pants, but I don't use my ring light a whole, a whole lot. So I'm hoping that won't be an issue because I do like having them up on the shelf or hanging and not down here. So anyway, have that. Uh, the laundry hampers are here. Uh, I straightened up this shelf and I have room for one more pair of boots. And if I get any more than that, then they won't fit. I'll have to get rid of something or maybe move this up. I don't know. Um, but that shelf is empty now. I just have some paper towels for when I clean the bathroom. I have my filming chair, my stick vacuum, my weight stand that I use up here because sometimes I have to work out up here. And then I have a cardboard box back there, which I'm saving for Christmas to wrap things in. I didn't do really anything to my husband's side except rearrange his pants. At some point, I'm going to have to come in here and dust all of this stuff. And he's going to have to go through his clothes and figure out what he doesn't want to keep because I feel like 90% of his stuff is stuff he doesn't wear or stuff that just looks kind of worn out. So anyway, I really am happy with how my side turned out and I'm really excited to sh uh, wear some of the new clothes that I got that I showed you yesterday. I did declutter a couple sweaters and a couple things, not too much. The good thing about having two other girls in the house is a lot of times we're sharing clothes or we're like trading things back and forth, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. I've got a little bit more floor space. It looks a lot nicer. I vacuumed everything. I dusted everything over here. Um, and so I'm really pleased. Sorry, I got interrupted and then I had to go to the grocery, so I'm in a different shirt. But anyway, I hope this video got you motivated, inspired, and ready for fall, thinking about what you want to get maybe to add to your closet, what you want to get rid of. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you head out, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.